discussing the issues of today. Yo, welcome to the Cruise Conference. Just incredible, scam artist, LA leaker, and also the uh, the man behind the uh, T.I. and Floyd Mayweather video <laughs> that was true. on TMZ. This is true. Just yeah. incredible. Yeah. Gabby V, Power Fridays, and the force behind um, Twitter and Instagram, all that with Power 106, Ashley Hollaback. And I'm Jay Cruz. How the f*** are you? <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in. Is that how we're going to start the show? Yeah. Huh? I think yeah. So. Is that what we're going to be? Well, Yo, so last week we were talking about... Um, your friends that disappear like off the face of the earth once they get into a relationship. Yeah. I, I'll i admit, I'm that guy. <laughs> once I get a girl, I just disappear. At least you are up front about it. Yeah, you admit it. I've disappeared on Justin so many times. This is true. This because is true. because you just get into a relationship and, you know, uh, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a relationship type of guy. Uh, and, and a lot of people are that way. And once they get into a relationship, you just don't hear from them ever again. Yeah. You know, a lot of them disappear off of Instagram too. Like, yo, this they bitch ain't it. posted a picture of four weeks. That's what the, the f*** is she? Or, no, That's or all their posts are with their boyfriend with kissy emojis and shit. That's like and they're always tagged. It's like we get it. And, and, and if we follow both of you, we don't want to see the same freaking pictures. Same Very man. true. I don't want to name no names. Very true. We yeah. all know who we're talking yeah. about. Or here. you know they live together and they post a picture and tag them in it and then they go and comment like, oh, I love you so much. And it's like, aren't you guys like right next to each other? Do you have yeah. friends that write on each other's Facebook walls? Oh my God, this morning was amazing. I love you. It's like we f- get it. <laughs> yeah. Send a f- Text. I text hate each that other. shit. Yeah. I have commented like I get it. <laughs> off, and then my friend will text me. She's like, "Someone's better." I'm like, "No, bitch, you're just annoying." Yeah, it's just, yeah. no, it's like, not I better. Know. It's just annoying, you know. Yeah. But you, 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 you girls seem like the type. And correct me if I'm wrong, uh, Justin. Um, if, <laughs> yeah. if, if uh, like, if you guys get like some really good dick, you might disappear for 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 a day or two, right? I'm not gonna lie. You might I'm call gonna... in sick if you get some good <laughs> dick. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've had some good dick in my day. I'm not gonna sure. lie, but I've never called off of work or anything like that. But I'm not gonna be MIA on my friends. Like I just feel yeah. like, I okay, I just can't do that just because they've been there from day one. Like yeah. I'm gonna maybe put them on like the side a little bit, put them on the back burner. Yeah. But I'm not gonna be like one of those people that's like, oh no, I can't. But that's talk disappearing to you. when you put them to the side. You know that means you no, disappear for a while. If you're honest, about, here like last month, me and my girl Brittany, my best friend Brittany, had plans. Yeah. And I was feeling this guy that was at my house, and I texted her. I was like, I'm getting freaky. I need to push our plans back three hours. I love you so much. And she wrote, Do your thing. If you are honest, that's true. Yeah. It is fine, but don't be like, Oh my God, I'm sick or something. Like just don't, don't be dishonest. Lie. Don't, don't lie, lie about it. Yeah. Right. That's right, right, annoying. Right. Be if they're fun. your friend, they want you to get pleased. And they'll support you. Yep. You know? never made that makes so much sense to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so clear on everything. Ashley yeah, just said I know, right? right? Yeah, I guess God, you just gotta be America. honest, and you just gotta say, "Listen, stop, bro." Like she, I'm about to get some. I'm, I'm she. Yeah, yeah. You gotta be straight. She's like a, her mouth is like a vacuum, bro. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to go to the club this weekend. A golf ball through a garden hose, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? No, but I yeah. think I think the question is more. It's not just about the moment of getting laid. We all get that. If I call yeah. you and say, "Yo, bro, it's going down in an hour. I need some time." Yeah. But we're talking about more so like, like from the friendship. Like, like, yo, it's game four of the finals tonight. We chilling. Yep. Yeah. And no, you're not rep- you're not no response. No right. Yeah. No response. You know, or or bam, and you know, you know. It's, we're all going to the beach this weekend, Memorial Day weekend. Yeah, we chilling, yeah. and all of a sudden, everybody hits back in the text message, yeah, group text, and it's <laughs> with the new girl doesn't reply. Doesn't reply. I've had, or he I, wants to bring her. Yeah. Oh, that's the they, worst. They, Bro, worse. don't bring your girl like <laughs> to everything. To or everything. Bring your man everywhere. Yeah, exactly. One of my one of my friends, she met this guy online, and they started dating. It got serious or whatever. And he had never met me. And I told my friend, I was like, yeah, I want to meet him. You know, I've met your exes in the past. Like, I'm down to meet him. Never met him. And he, like, put this whole story in her head where, like, she's this, she's that, she's against you. All this crap. We just stopped talking. And, like, my, she was, like, chill trying to hit me up to chill. But I, that's where I got turned off. You, like, yeah. Yeah. I'm good, man. Like, if you're if you're going to believe your dude that you've known for, what, like, five and minutes? And you've never met the guy? Never met him. He doesn't even know me. So he's going off of what he sees on social media. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah there he is. But that's yeah. kind of like. He was checked in. But yeah. that's kind of like if you only knew your chick was a. Oh, so you, you, know. you, you don't got to. Oh, I didn't. Yeah. I, that's, why I, that's why I bit my tongue. That's not right. I, that's why I bit yeah. my tongue. My, like, when I first moved like, to L.A., I was best. You're a bigger whore than me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? What's up? 
Yeah, you know what you said. You only knew. You only knew, man. You knew, man. She was sucking two ones the other day. You're nice. I would have just said it. You would have said it, right? Not while they were together, but before. Like, he's worried about me. You should, like, that's how your girl was before you, homie. Like, don't, you know. Yeah, if you're hanging out with somebody really tough for a long time, and then out of nowhere, they kind of have somebody, but they're still hanging out with you, but you know they're talking to somebody, and then out of nowhere, they just drop from the face of the earth and it, it that just seems a little weird that's yeah. just a, a, a weird move. i've had a friend who i won't say who because she watches <laughs> but oh it broke up our friendship for a year because she just continuously didn't hang out with me because she had a new boyfriend who she was yeah. in love with and then she had the audacity to cancel plans three times in a row and then she checked in with him on facebook and I came at her so hard. And I'm like, are you f***ing dumb enough to check in on Facebook with your new man at the time we were supposed to be hanging out? And I was like, I can't with you. And I did, I hazed her for a year. I wouldn't talk to her. Cut I her made off. plans in front of you people. You felt that she chose her, the, her man over you? And I said, look. But it's he, not, she wasn't honest. It's not the point. If, you, if I go up to you and I'm like, look, I'd rather hang out with my dude right now. I'm so in love and I have the butterflies and I don't want to kick it with you. I want to be with my man. I will have more respect for you. Yeah. If you're honest. Yeah. But do not, don't be dumb and check in on social media. I mean, I'm not what do you see mean that. by that? I don't understand what so, that means. So we were like, supposed to go out one day. Right. And then she was like, oh my God, I'm sick. I don't feel good. I'm going to stay home. Oh. And then an hour later, she checks in at Disneyland with her f- oh, boyfriend. F- and I was yeah, like, yeah, are cool. you serious? Or at she... least go in the privacy settings and so I can't see it. Yeah. Be yeah. smart. That's She's like, you I'm the f- hashtag queen. I can... Yeah. <laughs> don't post yeah. that shit. <laughs> on social media, we all can see you. Yeah, yeah. we all can see that. We so all see your ass. ass. What did she say when you called her out? She started crying and she's like, uh, I'm sorry, I just, you know, and I'm I was sorry, just like, I'm sorry, liar with a Yeah, That's and the bitch. I know it wasn't malicious, and like, I know I can come across scary and confrontational, but it's like, You could, though, honest. yeah. You could, well, though. You know what, though? <laughs> That's, You're like that this little pit bull, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah so. I know. But just be, drinks, but be just straight yeah. up. Yeah. That just goes back to that. She seems like the like the like the girl, right? That would walk up to someone like who was like four feet taller than her and still. F- yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not scared. I of grabbed you. someone at a club on Thursday. I was like, "Do you have a girlfriend? You're f- sexy." And Gabby had to pull me off. That's f- hot. See, I more didn't girls even need to be that way. I think. Take notes, ladies. Yeah, right. Whatever. Like, dude, you f- with that, right? Like, as long as you're not too aggressive, as long as you don't, you know, I don't know. There's, there. I think there's a but, fine line. But a lot of dudes like to work for it. Yeah. From oh, that yeah, chase. From one of my Shit, guy not friends. Me. That chase. Like, <laughs> like, but, ch- but a little bit of the chase is kind of hot. Yeah, yeah it's fun no, for some while. guys. Yeah, it's fun for a little while. But if a girl comes in with me like that and it's green light, I go time. Sh- yeah. Get tacos and go home. <laughs> 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 Have you guys ever had to put up with something? Um, for a relationship or for you love? I mean, I think we all have, right? <laughs> like, uh, I've had to put up with a crazy family in the past, you know what I mean? See, that's that sucks, dude. Like, you're saying, like, her parents or, like, brothers or something? Yeah, or... Just every, it was just, a, it was very dysfunctional, so, yeah. and I had to put up with that shit, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, and I was, you know, and it was it was a while back, but, um, but yeah, you gotta put up with that shit. Yeah. Yeah, it was just kind of weird, and I'm sure, you know, I think women have... I a girl have... who was, like, super sloppy, I put up with it. Like, I'm pretty clean around the apartment. Oh, she was, like, like, she was messy? Just messy, you know? It's like, but you, 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 like, you put up with it, but it gets under your skin a little. Yeah, yeah. F- yeah. I know you've put up with that. some stuff, and I'm sure you have yeah. as well, man. I, my ex's house was disgustingly dirty. Really? Like, his family was dirty. Yeah, like a dirty family, yeah, I mean, that means he's dirty, uh, yeah. or she's dirty. You gotta put up with that sh- or or like abuse. You know what I mean? Like dudes who just yeah. got no chill and shit. <laughs> or like bro, you just can't parties, be punching chicks. Bro. Those parties you were talking about, you gotta go to them, and then you know, families getting extra drunk and kind of talking to you in a tone that's like, "Yo, yeah. I'm dating your daughter, but doesn't yeah. mean I'm your, I'm not your son." You know what I mean? Yeah, like, you can't talk to me like that. Yeah, or you, they talk about your family, like, "Yo, like, oh, but we're family." Nah, I'm a, not family. Yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? We're family, but like. I have a family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So it gets a little weird. What have you put up uh, with uh, uh, because of relationship or or because of love? I'm sure there's some some crazy shit. Leave it in the comments. Talk to it. Uh, talk to us so we can talk about it next week. I'm sure. You know. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You read some. Oh, I know. Wait. <laughs> yeah, because you don't shout people hey, out. Hey, Chris Gomez, I know how to read. <laughs> and I, I am shouting someone out. And I want to shout out Steven Alcaraz from the IE. Represent Temecula all day. <laughs> 951, bitch. <laughs> Temecula, homie. Woo! Hey, no. Um, what up? Temecula. <laughs> Go ahead, man. <laughs>
What up, Enrique Aramburo? I don't know how to say her last name. Um, shout out to James Young. He's trying to start a movement. Get Gabby Nashley, a black guy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> how about that? Yeah, so what have you put up with because of a relationship or because of love? Leave it in the comments. And thank you so much for watching the Cruise Conference. We'll see you next week. It's going big. Timberland. Best then, better now. Available at Robert Wayne Footwear.